Hello, my wealthy wife, fam, and friends. This is Ms. Sophia, author of Wealthy Wife, Meeting, Dating, and Marriage, ma'am, as well as the founder of the Wealth of Academy, and of course, your godmother, Athlon Hermes. How are you doing, wealthy wife, fam, and friends? All right, now, before I continue, I first want to take time out to say thank you for those of you who actually enrolled in the online, self-paced online masterclass, Creating a Soft Life by Wealthy Wife. I want to say thank you. I am loving this. I mean, I pop into my email and I've got new enrollments. I wake up in the morning, there are new enrollments. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Because it's so cool because I'm noticing I've got my established goddaughters that have enrolled in this course and I have brand new goddaughters that are enrolling. And here's why I'm so excited about it. Because just so you know, today is the last day to enroll and receive an extra bonus. The extra bonus is either the second or third Saturday of June, I'm going to be doing a Zoom call that will give you a chance and give me a chance to meet each other. Yes. Yes, yes. So for the established goddaughters, it's reunion. And we always have a blast. And for those of you that are brand new that I've never met before, this is going to give me a chance to actually meet you and for you to actually meet me. Yes, we're going to have a chance to see each other. We're going to have a chance to talk. I'm going to be doing a little teaching, but it's also a time for Q&A. So any questions you guys might have in reference to the masterclass or just a question in general, it's going to give me a chance to actually meet you and you to meet me. And once again, meet your God sisters. And I believe I mentioned in a prior video, what I love so much when I do masterclasses and we have new goddaughters come in and the, uh, my established ones are there, they're so welcoming. They really, really are. They're so gracious with their new God sisters. And it gives you a chance to hear about their experiences because it's one thing I've learned about them. They're very generous in reference to sharing their experiences, what they've learned while working in a space of wealthy wife and what they've gained and you know how they've elevated their lives and become a better version of self or become more aware of self and are living out lives that really tap into their truth. I'm always about empowering you. That's what I do here. That is my biggest goal is to empower you and help you, guide you, assist you in learning how to become once again that muse, that one of a kind, unforgettable woman. So for those who have not enrolled yet in the online masterclass, the masterclass is going to be there, but I'm just saying, if you want to be able, if you want to participate in that live masterclass, that bonus is it expires today. Today is the last day to enroll in the live master, excuse me, to enroll in the online masterclass creating a soft life by wealthy wife and be and to have excuse me to be invited to the Zoom call we'll be doing next month. So I want to make sure I put that out there before I go further into the call. All right. And also, for those of you that are brand new subscribers here to my Miss Sophia YouTube channel, thank you. I appreciate you joining us. And to my established uh, ladies and gentlemen here, thank you. I do appreciate you following along and listening to me and my, you know, my moments of education and rants. <laughs> I always smile because people are like going, I, I, you know, for the folks that actually, you know, are very meticulous and very, you know, put together their stuff and very... And because you guys know, I, I just talk. I don't come in with an agenda per se. Um, I'm just here really having a conversation with you and offering education and wisdom as we go along. So today I'm going to talk about, there is a clip that's going around on Instagram and probably on TikTok as well. And it's from, uh, the actor's name is Liam, I think Nelson. And it was a, a the movie, maybe it was called Taken or something. It was about a gentleman, like this special ops man whose daughter was kidnapped by these, you know, this this faction of men who just, you know, weren't cool, weren't good people. And he's on the phone. I think it's the first phone call he has with them. And he's on the phone with them and he's telling them, you know, just so you know, I have a special set of skills that I've been acquiring over many years. And then it goes on. And I'm laughing because I thought, oh my God, that is, oh my goodness, that's so me. Because I do have a special set of skills that I have been cultivating, curating, you know, building out for decades. You know, the things that I work with and teach here at Wealthy Whites, the things with the academy, the muse, the, the quarters on the priestess, which is coming in, in to, in, into play here eventually, well, actually this year, actually probably the spring and summer, are skill sets and experiences that I've actually learned, live, teach over the course of decades. As I just mentioned, my goal is always to encourage you to become your best version of you. 
you know, always discussing the fact that, you know, stop allowing other people to tell you who you have to be in your wise. The statement that I have now at the beginning of every um, audio, every description is, I am not here to tell you who you have to be. I'm here to remind you who you are. I was noticing there was something I saw on Instagram earlier, and there was something about people unhappiness. You want to know why so many people are unhappy? I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell you exactly why. And most people are not going to hear it because it's not going to make. It's going to piss them off, or it's going to make me more unhappy. But it's because you're not doing what you want to do. You're not living a life that's authentic. You're you're missing out on on your purpose. You're missing out on what you were here to create and do. It's hard to be happy when you're living a life that you dislike or despise. That can be personal, romantic, professional, whatever. When you are out of alignment with what is supposed to be your truth, unhappiness is, is, is the byproduct. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anxiety, misery, uh, fear. So many things come with that when you're not living your personal truth. Because when you begin to live your truth, because you're taking time out to learn self, this always comes back to know thyself. As I recall, that's in almost every spiritual doctrine out there, be it religious or spiritual. It all talks about the, the value and the importance of knowing self. And when you finally are going to allow yourself to be present with who you are, it's one of the reasons why I like this new master class I put together, because there are questions in there that actually bring you back to, what do you desire? I mean, seriously, when you're sitting down by yourself and not without the noise of other people's opinions and not on social media and not looking at stuff going, oh, you mean you're just really with yourself going, oh my gosh, if I only had a chance to do, if I only had time for this, if I, if I could finally experience that. When you're able to answer the, and, and hear me, I've said this before, and I've said this, and I'm going to say it's probably many more times here on the YouTube channel, and I teach it in master classes. Those questions are, are, are initially are not the, they're, they're, they can be a tad difficult because you've spent your entire life literally being from the time you arrived on this planet, being groomed by other people's opinions, ideologies, who you have to be, how you have to show up. Don't do this. Do that. Don't do this. Oh my God, what are you doing? What do people think? All these things are inside of you that you've been conditioned to believe. So when the time comes that I, I come in here like a bulldozer or a wrecking ball going, stop, you know, and you're like, but, but if I don't do this, what do I do next? Well, that's the beauty of this journey. It is the beauty of the journey, just so you know. Kind of a terrifying aspect of it sometimes too, but, but hear me out, hear me out. It's all good. Because when you learn how to do that deep breathing, you know, take those deep breaths, You allow yourself to relax and you allow the, the crazy noise in your head to finally subside because here's the beauty of it because I do advocate for meditation the beauty of it is when you finally finally are in energetic alignment the noise stops and it so surprise you I had to laugh because my youngest son he actually meditates now and um Oh my God, I encourage you. I, I teach, the stuff I talk to you guys about, I also talk to my sons about the meditation, the deep breathing. These are things I also share with the masculine in my life, uh, be it my son or, or the men in my life as well. I advocate for meditation. Do I do it every day? No, I don't. But I have other ways that I, I got quiet my mind. But the cool thing about it is one day if you're consistent, because once again, living this lifestyle, choosing to choose you is a discipline. Because now you have to, because everything else I taught you has been disciplined into you, basically. Repetition, 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 repetition. Now to undo all of that must be repetition, 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 but in a different way. And more in alignment with you becoming you. So with meditation, what happens is you be, are you consistent. And it doesn't, and immediately, I kid you not, you're going to hear all the craziness in your brain, blah, blah, all the noise, blah, 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 in your brain. But one day, if you stay consistent, one day it's going to occur to you that there's no sound. I remember the first time I hit that, and I've been meditating, meditating for years, but I, oh God, it's been, it's been 12, 15 years now, it's been a while. But I remember, I, could, I, could, I, I, I remember so distinctly, I could tell you exactly where I was sitting and what I was doing when it occurred to me that 
There was no noise. It was silence. I was sitting at the end of my bed. I had a candle lit in front of me. I knew exactly where I was living. I opened my eyes and looked at the candle and oh wow. <laughs> I was like, there's no noise. Because the goal is not to fight the noise because when you're fighting, anything you fight against becomes more of a problem. Anything you fight becomes bigger because now you're pouring all that resistant energy into it. It's going to give you resistance. You give it resistance and it's that back and forth, push, push, push. And it gets bigger, 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 bigger. The examples I've used have been the things that we, we, we go to war on. War on drugs, bigger drug problem. War on hunger, more hungry people. War on poverty, more poor people. Uh, just everything that we war against becomes a bigger issue. So when you learn how to just not engage, literally unplug yourself from it, guess what happens? Because you're not pouring energy into it, it has to leave you alone. It has to stop. It's like an argument, it takes two people to argue. When one person refuses to engage in the argument, guess what happens? The argument stops. I shared it before with you guys before about you know my last major relationship. Um, <laughs> I, I figured it out with him because he, Love, he called them debating, but he would when he'd be wound up about stuff, his way to release his energy and tension was to pick a fight with me. And when I finally it occurred to me, he was doing it, and he did it with other people, not just me. But I'm the woman in his life, so I'm a safe zone for him because he knew me. I process stuff out. I don't. I tend to take very few things personal, unless you really are coming after me. Then I'm also gonna like stop. But when it finally occurred to me what was going on, I refused to engage. And I would tell him, I was like, we're not doing this. He's like, well, I go, no. I go, I know where this leads. I go, I've fallen down the rabbit hole with you a couple of times, more than a couple of times. I finally figured it out. You're stressed. You've had a rough day. You're wound up. You need to blow off some steam. And I'm in the way. Meaning I'm, I'm, I'm on the path. And at the moment, I look like the most convenient person for you to do this with. No, not me. I didn't come over here to spend time with you and spend time, quote unquote, debating with you because I know the tone, I know the body language, I know this, we're not doing it, no, no. And he'd try a couple more times, I'm like, mm-mm, mm-mm, this conversation's gonna lead nowhere productive, so we're not having it. And eventually he would stop. I would laugh because he literally would walk off into the kitchen talking to himself. I still can see it, it's so funny. And I wasn't doing it to be mean or obnoxious, I just knew that it was not gonna be a productive conversation. I'm all about communication. I'm all about if there was something that he and I had going on, we had a difference of opinions that we needed to come to some kind of agreement on, then I would have engaged in the conversation. But this wasn't that. This was about literally him just needing some place to blow off steam. So my thing was call the pre pre people or person who irritated you, get it off your chest and yell, scream at them, whatever you got to do. I'm not the person. Or just go do something to relax. Just give yourself some time to process this through you. I'll be here when you get back. Go play some video games. Go read i don't know do something but just right now i know this isn't going to work for us because it's going to mess up our evening discernment clarity okay being intentional things you'll learn in the master class by the way um but i'm saying this because when you are taking the time out now to unlearn it's going to be noisy inside of your head you're going to feel insecure initially because once again you're moving into the unknown you're now moving into energy that you are totally unfamiliar with because now you're i'm asking you to focus on you i'm asking you to learn about who you are who are you once again the wealthy wife it always comes back to the three questions who are you what do you desire in your wives you are so worthy of answers to those three questions. And those three questions, you answer them, they will change your life. And if you allow it for the better, it will bring in more resources, meaning more currency, more money, more flow. And that way, it'll bring to you peace of mind. It brings to you joy and happiness. It invites more love into your life. Because once again, I talk about the hallways of Clubhouse. Oh my God, so many miserable so much unhappiness there and so much of it is that people need to work on self they're still looking outside themselves for answers they're still looking outside themselves for validation well because you don't do this for me i have to, i don't feel i can't feel this way 
or you should be, or you owe me, or you have to, or da, 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 or if you're not this, or if you're not that, I'm not happy with you. You're unworthy. You're nothing. You're trash. You're, you know, what was it? No, no, that anxiety comes from you expecting other people to validate you. No, no, your whole goal is to learn how to love you, honor you, respect you, gain your wisdom. Because yes, the life trials and tribulations are, are stepping stones. They're life lessons to become stepping stones for us to elevate higher into higher elevations and vibration. To really, really come into alignment with learning who we are and then living out our truth. Do you know what it feels like to be in the space of your personal truth? Some of you have been hanging with me because I've got goddaughters that listen and that are moving in that direction. Some are in there. Some of them have finally, it has clicked. And when they email me, we're on the phone talking, if they're like, if we're working together, because some of them are private clients I'm working with right now. When it clicked, they're just like, Miss Sophia, Godmother. Why didn't they figure this out sooner? Because it's so funny because there's things I've been saying to them repetitively. Because I don't change my messaging. I know it works. I live it. I have goddaughters living it. I'm teaching, I've taught my sons how to be there. I have other individuals outside of the goddaughters I work with, you know, in reference to sharing information with. And I watch them make the shift and the change. But I laugh and I smile because of like going, oh my gosh, why didn't I figure this out sooner? Why, was, why wasn't I hearing you before now? I go, because you had to work through your stuff. And yes, yeah, sometimes they make it a little, they drag it out a little longer than it needs to be drug out. But here's a kicker. I can't do the work for you. I cannot make you get there any faster than you're going to get there. But when they finally learn how to let go and trust the process, the rewards are fabulous. When you finally learn how to say yes, and I do talk about that in the uh, the creating a soft life. We talk about yes and no. How to use the power of those statements because those two little tiny words are a statement in and of themselves. Yes. No. When you learn how to master those and not have to go into a bunch of details on your whys because women have a hard time saying yes to things they really, really desire. And they have a difficult saying no because if a woman says no, and, it's, and you know this, you guys have heard this, you've either done it yourself or you have friends and family who do women in your life that do it. When a woman says no, it makes her uncomfortable and she goes this whole big explanation as to why she can't do it. Well, you know, no, 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 no. No, no is a very simple statement. Somebody asks you can do something, you sit there for a second and go, think about it. You think they go through your head with everything you you obligations you already have, and the fact that you may just not want to do what they're asking, and the fact that you have no desire to do it is enough. No, why not? <laughs> Don't feel like it, or really have no desire to do it, or I know you can take care of this yourself. Oh, you didn't realize you could say that. You can, absolutely. Absolutely. Because if you don't choose to protect your energy, no one's going to do it for you. They're not. And if you have a habit of giving away yourself to other people's projects and energies and, and whatever nonsense and mayhem they're doing, and that does include social media, folks. That includes what you guys are listening to and who you're tapping into and what you're watching. You are willingly giving other people your energy and they're offering nothing back. Nothing back. But more anxiety more chaos, more aggravation, more fear, more everything that is depleting you, but it's feeding them. Yes, I'm going to stay on this this topic just so you know, because I need you once again to really know what you're doing in your whys, because that's the one of the main things that's, that must be must happen is a, the awareness. For you to become a discerning person, for you to really choose beautifully, happily, with wisdom, how you're moving through your life, you must be aware of what you're doing and go back to your whys. So many times people allow things to happen to them. They, they call it mindless entertainment. It's not mindless entertainment. They're, you're you're giving away something. And it's usually you. And that's why, once again, people get themselves stuck into relationships that are unsatisfactory. They work at jobs for years and potentially decades you know they change jobs but it's the same type of job they stay in uh, it's because it's habitual 
It's, it's what they know. It's not rocking the boat. Honey, we are here to literally turn the boat upside down, okay? You're a woman. Let me explain to you about our energy. I've said before in other audios, and I teach it uh, in the master class, and I work with my private clients on this. The energy of chaos is our energy. And they have you thoroughly convinced that chaos is a bad thing. Not really. When you understand and can identify what chaos is, chaos is where everything comes out of. Everything is created in, comes out of the void, but not the void, comes out of the energy of chaos. Out of chaos comes order. Without chaos, there's no order. Remember, it, this, it's, it's reciprocity, it's, it's synchronicity. And once again, you have been conditioned to think about certain things as bad, 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 bad. No. It's about knowing how to utilize the energy. Now, if you were just out there, blah, and not having any kind of self-control, no type of self-awareness, then yes, chaos can be a bad thing because it's just straight destructive with no redemption. That just, and we see it. We see it when you're watching your housewife series, when you're watching all this craziness they put out there for people to watch for quote unquote entertainment, it's, it's chaos. And it's deliberate chaos. They edit those shows to suck the life out of you. To have you on Clubhouse talking about stuff that is irrelevant to anything. I see topics, I see topics, I'm going, what? I literally see topics, I'm going, why are people talking about this? How is this adding to your life? How is this adding to your energy? How is this elevating you? How is it prospering you? That's how my brain works, just so you know. If what I'm doing isn't going to want add, bring a conversation to me that's elevating for myself and the person I'm talking to, or if it's not educating me, because I said before, I'm a student, I love to learn. So if the conversation isn't going to add value in reference to information that's gonna make me curious to go learn more, why am I here? Is it making me laugh? I mean, seriously, belly laughs, the kind of laughs that actually refresh and replenish my energy. I'm not interested. Uh, I hear me. I've said before, I don't even own a TV. People think that is so weird. Like, you don't know, I haven't had a television in years. I don't need one. There are a few things I do miss watching, of course. But seriously, it's not, I don't miss those things so much. Like the Food Network, I love the Food Network. Um, but that's just, the, but then I can get stuck in that cycle and I'm wasting time watching Food Network. It's pleasurable, but I'm not getting anything done. So once again, I had to finally decide what's more important to me. How am I adding value to my day? Because also we have to be responsible for self. So I say this to you and I want you thinking about this because you're moving through life. You want to, your desire is to live a better life. Your desire is to be loved and to be in loving relationships. And once again, it has to go with, start with self-love first. You're looking to be in a position where you can live a more affluent and influential life. You're here listening to me. My whole thing is wealthy wife, okay? And wealthy wife starts first with you as a woman, learning and knowing self. Because wealth is our energy, currency, money is feminine energy. So we're going to have that because it's us. But we need to know how to channel it. We need to understand how to understand, under, first understand, then enter and understand how to invite it into our lives because Money is a topic that causes great anxiety in people. And I'm like, okay, take a deep breath. Um, because it's, ladies, it's your energy. Uh, and when you're learning how to be present with self and doing what actually is your purpose and brings you joy, the money comes because she wants to play and party with you too. Once again, there's no need to hustle and grind as a woman. That's masculine. And be very, very prosperous doing action steps, learning how to delegate without having to make yourself crazy and cause health issues. Like I said before, so many of the health issues, they're not just the foods and the water and the this and the that in our environment that are causing it. It is the energy. Everything starts in energy and uh, the spirit realms before it gets to your body, just so you know. Everything starts as an energetic issue. And if it's not being resolved energetically, that's when it will finally settle into your body, just so you know. Yes, I have much, much wisdom I can share with you guys that encompasses so much more than just dating rich and affluent, dating affluent, rich and wealthy men. 
It's about you. You as an entire person, you living once again in your space of womanhood, knowing who you are, and then taking that wisdom and now deciding how you're going to utilize it in your life. Who are you inviting into your life? Who are you putting out of your life? Because not everyone deserves to be in your life. Being selective with the information that you're feeding yourself. Because remember, it's energy. It's a topic I'm going to be on for quite a while, just so you know. Because I need more wise women. I have them in the realm of wealthy wife. Once again, it's a process. It's not a straight line. It's curves and hills and valleys and mountaintops and this and that because it's the unlearning of stuff which is killing you. And I mean it literally. It's killing your spirit. It kills your joy. It kills your prosperity. There are people out there that are thriving. They're very they're prosperous. They're making money. But when they're not doing what it is they're doing, making money because so many women are in that masculine energy, if they're not doing that, they go home, they, they, they fall apart. Because once again, part of that is also running away from issues and things they need to work on internally. Do, 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 push, push, push that masculine. And even men have to step back from that periodically. That's why it's so important for them to have the right woman in their lives. We are the ones that actually look at him and say, Babe, honey, come here. Come, huh, babe, 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 hmm? come here. Okay. All right, now you are vibrating so, so hard. I go, the refrigerator is going to explode. What's going on? Talk to me. Come here. Let me rub your shoulders. Come here. Give me a hug. Allow me to just bring you a moment of peace. Allow me to just help you relax. For just, I don't care, 15 minutes. I know, babe, I know. You got to go back there and do I get it. But come here. Because you know what? Your state of mind, your health and well-being is incredibly important to me. And I need you to be living a long-ass life with me, okay? It's not going to happen if you stroke out on me. High blood pressure, by the way, is pent up rage, anxiety, and a lot of things. Because high blood pressure is what usually triggers strokes. So we're here to keep our men healthy. And to help them be healthy, we have to be healthy. Remember, we do for self first, and then other people benefit from our grace and ease. And wise men pour back into you because they want to keep you in a space of grace and ease because they know the value of you as a woman who is living in the space of her womanhood. Unapologetic, loving the feminine energy, tapping into masks when we need to. I told you guys, we got to tap into action steps periodically. We do. But knowing how and when to utilize that energy and not have it using us. So, this is why I love what I do. This is why I wake up with a smile on my face in the morning and throughout my day. It's because I have the privilege of assisting you. How may I assist you? What is it that you desire and that you need? Are you ready to rediscover self? You know, I have the master class up there right now, Become a Muse. That does begin to tap into you. It's, it's, it starts to get you back in the space of looking into self. Creating a sacred space, creating a suit soft like a wealthy wife will definitely tap into some of it because you're going to learn how to think a little differently, learn how to view life differently. So it's a great class to begin thinking about, okay, what does this mean to me? What changes do I need to make in my life? The Become Muse Masterclass goes further because now you begin to literally look at you. Who are you? What do you desire? How can we build that out for you? It's a great beginning course. There are more things coming. I'm literally working on, I'm revamping the entire academy right now. The courses that are on there, I, I adore. But I am looking to, I'm actually looking to make it more, literally of an academy. So there are things I'm working on, but those courses are the ones that will really get you started. So that when you, I ask questions, you won't go st straight silent on me like, uh, I don't know. And I don't mind the silence, hear me. I don't mind when I ask people questions and it does stump them silence. That's a good thing because in that moment, because they feel safe with me, they know they can take the time out to gather their thoughts and then ask me questions. If they need a deeper question, I can go deeper. 
if they need a little more clarity, I can give them clarity. I am here to elevate you. I am here to assist you. I am here as your guide, your safe spot. So go ahead and click on the button below and get yourselves, if you're not in the Creating a Sacred uh, Soft Life and Wealthy Wife Masterclass, like I said, today is the last day to actually be able to receive an invitation to the Zoom call that I'm doing next month. Today's the last day. Like I said, the course will still be on there after today, but today is the last day to enroll and receive an invitation to that special Zoom call where it was going to be present with me, with your God sisters, and I'm going to answer questions, and I'm going to also drop some additional knowledge for you. So if you haven't enrolled in the course, the Creating a Soft Life by Wealthy Wife, go ahead and click the bottom, click on the description button. Wait, let me try it again. Click on the button in the description section and get yourselves enrolled. I adore you. I appreciate you. Have an awesome day.